Hello friends, welcome to this video on number systems. We solved some questions related to the rationalization of the denominator of fractions. Now we will discuss some facts related to it. So let's start. Rationalize the denominators of the given fractions. Can you tell which identity should be used for the first question? Pause the video and think about it. Friends, we can rationalize the numbers in this question without using any identity. Let us see how. Here, the denominator has root 2 in both the numbers, so we can combine them as 4 root 2. And since the numerator also has root 2, we can cancel it from the numerator and the denominator and get the result as 1 upon 4. Can you guess which identity should be used in the next question? Here, the denominator contains root of m plus n the whole. So, should we multiply the denominator and the numerator with root of m minus n the whole? Both these numbers are in the same square root. Therefore, we will multiply the numerator and denominator with square root of m plus n and we will get root m plus n by m plus n. With this, we end this video. In this session, we discuss some facts related to the rationalization of the denominator. We will meet in the next video. Thank you.